Now, we think about this amazing detailed proclamation against Tyre. I mean, all the details of how Tyre would fall. Then we have to ask ourselves, well, what's history say about this? And again, we are getting ready to look over the next few minutes at some of those amazing fulfilled uh, prophecy in the Old Testament. So let's kind of take this section by section and just look for a few minutes. Uh, first, think about uh, the prediction that Nebuchadnezzar would siege the city of Tyre. And in fact, uh, that's said it would happen right there in verses 7 and 8, that he will lay siege, this king of Babylon, uh, to the city of Tyre. Now, historically, here's what did happen. Uh, one year after this prophecy, in 585 uh, BC, Nebuchadnezzar laid siege to the mainland, the old city of Tyre, and he besieged it for 13 years. I mean, that's some kind of commitment. And Tyre was situated there on the coast. So when Nebuchadnezzar, after 13 years of just like the Bible predicted, uh, laying siege against it and uh, building battering rams to take it, when he finally took the city where all the population was, he found, oddly enough, amazed enough, that over the 13 years, the entire population of the city had fled out the back door across the half mile waterway to the island city uh, that was Tyre, the new city. And so Nebuchadnezzar, while he fulfilled this prophecy and took the old city, the residential city of Tyre, he did not go out and conquer the island. He wasn't prepared to do it. He couldn't defeat the fortified walls and the strong navy of uh, the ancient Tyrrhenians. Now, past that, Tyre then, although the old city was absolutely destroyed uh, after, like the Bible says, about 70 years, the island city, now populated, not just a commercial but a residential city, becomes uh, strong again and it becomes a place for global trade and it really rises back to almost its former glory just like isaiah chapter 23 prophesied but then interestingly enough ezekiel had told us that many nations would come against it and so indeed what did happen is in uh, 332 bc uh, a guy named Alexander the Great, the Greek uh, general and the Greek emperor, he came on the scene and he fulfills the next thing I want to point out that in verse 12, it tells us that Tyre's stones and rubble would be cast into the sea. And it's interesting there. I pointed out to you that the, uh, the it changes the language uh, from verse 7 to verse 11, it's he, Nebuchadnezzar, he would do all these things. But then in verse 12, it's they. Nebuchadnezzar didn't cast the stones or the rubble into the sea, but Alexander the Great did, you see. For he came to Tyre, and he decided he wanted to take this island city. So 240 years after Nebuchadnezzar took the old city, Alexander rolled up on the new city and he took a look and he said, how am I going to take this place half a mile out into the sea and large navy still surrounding the fortified walls? And so what he did is he employed uh, many, many nations to help him, conquered nations to help him take the rubble from the old city and cast it into the sea. And over seven months, he created a causeway from the old city to the new city, he made a road right through the sea and he took the new city, the island city of Tyre within seven months in 332 BC. Uh, just as the Bible predicted, he did this by casting the ruins of the city into the sea. Unbelievable. Now, uh, if that's not enough, as I mentioned, the Bible predicts that many nations, verse 3 says that, and then we have a reference, all they would do from verse 12 to verse 14, these many nations to take uh, the city of Tyre. As I mentioned, Alexander needed a great workforce to be able to create the causeway, but he also needed a larger navy to conquer the city because the Phoenicians were 
a seafaring people, and Tyre had a large standing navy, and so he used six or seven countries' navies that he had conquered in order to uh, take down Tyre's blockade of the city. And so, again, Alexander conquered Tyre uh, completely about three years later, and they, uh, they just as Ezekiel 20 uh, 6 12 says they many nations just as Ezekiel 26 3 says uh, they were the ones that conquered the city